Whew, this month has been a doozy. Lots of new stuff going on in the Valencia household and um, I'm exhausted. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia. We are working our way out of 250,000 plus worth of debt. And every month we go over the budget and every month we talk about our personal finances in a way that really nobody should talk about on YouTube, but we do because we're those people. If you are new to my channel and that interests you, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because it's all finances all the time right now, probably forever. Today I am going over our expenses for last month and you get to see where we spent our money, where we budgeted well, and where we didn't. So this month we had several things going on that don't normally go on. We had the Amazon no spend. We had Wendy being crazy with every dollar, not wanting to reconcile. So you guys could see where we started our budget and where we finished our budget. And FYI, spoiler alert, I am never doing that again. And what was the third thing? And we started the cash envelopes. So as I always do it in the beginning of the video, I will discuss every everything that we spent that was maybe a little bit over, a little bit under, and then I'll go over each budget category one by one and you can see if we were over or under. I will tell you, shockingly, we were under more than we were over, which maybe is normal for us. I haven't really tracked it that way before. We ended up being over overall. So the five categories we were over, still major, major categories. So let's go ahead and jump on into this bad boy. If you watched my mid-month budget update video, I discussed the easy pass and I'll put a link to that right up here in the eye in the sky. And I would recommend you watch it. I did a cute little like flashback sequence. I was really proud of that. I also have decided that I am going to record every single one of our budget meetings, whether I put them on YouTube or not, as proof because Mauricio continually denies that he said things. In fact, I may just need to put like strap a GoPro like on my head right here so I can, you know, have proof of everything because he he says stuff and then he denies it. He's a liar, liar, pants on fire. And then I have video evidence of it. And down in the con comment section, he's still denying that he said it. He's insane. So anyway, check that video out. It was pretty funny. So then the next thing is we budgeted $50 for gas and we came in at $23.68. And unfortunately, probably in November, we are actually going to have to buy another tank because I spent a week of vacation time cleaning out the garage and I literally cleaned the garage for an entire week. I kid you not. But there was a giant U-Haul sitting in the driveway which I unloaded all the stuff into the U-Haul and then loaded it back into the garage at it came as I was cleaning and organizing it. And it blocked off Mauricio's ability to charge his car. So he couldn't plug it in. So he used a little more gas than he normally would. So we'll probably also have to buy gas in November. And then we realized about halfway through the month that our registration was expiring at the end of the month and neither one of us realized that. So that was 4175 that we had to immediately add in the budget that we had not planned to add in. And then we paid our personal property tax and we had budgeted in and that was actually $3.95 more than we anticipated because apparently if you pay online it, with a debit card, it costs $3.95. So it was slightly more than we anticipated, but no big deal. So that ended up uh, finishing out at one thirty five thirty seven for the Ford. And then we were spot on for the other car. And then we have Melina's birthday. And that one was spot on what I expected. We budgeted almost exactly the right amount for the food and everything. But I neglected to remember that you had to tip the people who helped out with the birthday party. I don't know why this came as a shock to me last year when I did it and you would think I would have remembered, but I didn't. And so we were um, definitely over on that. And that ended up finishing at 4 for that party. So, but I tell you what, 
immediately after that, we went to a party at someone's home and we debated the merits of having a party away from your house and a party at your house. And we both came to the conclusion that a party away from your house where the people set up and they clean up and all you have to do is buy a cake and you know the, the little party favors is definitely the way to go. <laughs> so, because in reality she had more people, but she spent like 750 and she had to clean up afterwards and she had leftovers to deal with and all of that. So we both agreed that having a party away from your house is probably the way to go. So, and the $2 charge that you see is actually, they have like a little wind tunnel and you got one free swipe with your party package, but several of the kids couldn't fit in there. So we, Went ahead and we swiped for another one and that was two dollars for that wind tunnel not worth it but you know it made the kids happy they were excited and then i had fifty dollars in there for miscellaneous school expenses for melina and we didn't spend any of that and then our cash envelopes again in the mid-month budget i did talk about going over on the cash envelopes i'm pretty happy with the cash envelopes and doing them thus far so we are going to continue doing them in November and we're excited about it and we're gonna leave our um, grocery money where it is at 250 because we think that we can shore that up even though we were over on groceries this month a little bit if we pay attention to what we're spending money on and I don't buy the the chopped onions because they're convenient then we can probably make it on 250 a month so that's what we're gonna aim for. And then we had $25 for Skype and that did not get spent. So that'll roll over to next month also. And in my medical category, I had $255.59 set aside for a neurology bill, which I always go pay when I get my neck injections. But I did not get my neck injections this month. I think they forgot about me because I put them off for a couple of months because I had, I call it floppy headed baby syndrome. It, it, like if I bend my head forward, I can't pick up my own head. So I um, I postponed it because that means there was too much of the injection in my neck and it lasts a couple of months. So I needed it all to wear off so I could go back to normal. And so I didn't get them this month, but I'm gonna have to call in November and make that appointment for when I'm off work uh, in November. And so along with that, we didn't have a $35 copay. So both of those will actually roll over into next month. We had a bill for $143.20 for the dentist, and that is all the expenses at the dentist that insurance did not cover. And it was mostly Mauricio stuff, but um, that's okay. It's still, we're still under $1,200, $1,300 for $10,000 worth of dental work. So I'm good with that. And then Mauricio had a dermatology appointment. The boy cannot remember when he has appointments. They email me because I set up most of his appointments. And then when he goes, he schedules a, a follow-up appointment. But I'm the one who gets notified when it's about to happen. And then I let him know he needs to go to the dentist. He's not the most organized. True story. So he did have a follow-up dermatology appointment for his ankle. And that was $25. And he's got another one in January now. So I have already put that on the calendar. So we will know to pay for it. So it will not be in the cushion category. So in work-related expenses, we had budgeted $22 for Mauricio parking and he did not need to use it at all this month. So that was awesome. Then we are now getting into our cushion category, which you will see what I call that because it's true. A lot of these are, you know, stupid mistakes or budgeting errors. Some of them were not mistakes, not errors. They're just things that come up, but you know, they fall under that category. So the cushion category, it's just more fun to call it something other than cushion. So in the cushion category, we had $10.59 as a carryover from when Mauricio ate out in September. We did not use the debit card at all for food this month. We were actually really good. I say that and I forgot this. So also in the mid-month budget update, I did talk about going to the Colombian restaurant that we were $9 over and we had to take our cash and run it to the bank, And but that was fine. So I already talked about that, so I'm not gonna bore you with the details of that. If you wanna check it out, go back and click on the mid-month budget update video. 
And then I think I talked about this. There, I, I joined a book club that I talked to you about and there was wine and it was so fun. You thought I was going to say good. The wine was also good, but the, the book club was super fun and we had a blast doing it. So totally worth it. Very happy to be um, part of that book club. And then we had $5.29 for the black socks for Melly for a thing at my sister-in-law's church. She needed black leggings and black socks. And oddly enough, Melly and I, we didn't have any black socks and all of her black tights didn't fit. And I hadn't bought her new ones. Okay, this is out of control. What are they doing out there? So it looks like they're just blowing the leaves down the street at this point. I'm not sure why, but that's what they're doing. So, um, yeah, I didn't have socks, so we got socks, and Mauricio got some other stuff at Target, which at this point, that was so long ago, I can't even tell you what it was. So that was $9.43. So this is super funny, but a little bit not funny. So we had gotten cupcakes for Melina, little mini cupcakes, because her teacher at school insists that whatever we get for birthday parties, they be small in size. She does not want the kids to have a whole donut. She does not want the kids to have a whole cupcake at all. So we ended up getting little mini cupcakes for Melina for her whole class. And Mauricio and I took the uh, left work with enough time to get over there and serve them to the kids. And it was super cute and super exciting. And we really enjoyed it. And the night before we were supposed to take them over, they're sitting on the counter and my father knocked them on the floor. So all of the cupcakes fell on the floor, fortunately in a container. So I didn't have a huge mess to clean up, but that forced us to go buy cupcakes again. It, truthfully, it was not that big of a deal. It was $10. Mauricio went out and did it and he used the debit card. I should have given him cash, but I forgot. And he just used the debit card for that. So, but the cupcakes that my dad picked out were way cuter. We ended up eating those cupcakes for like a week. Cause you know, they were still good. It's just, they were a little smushed, but they tasted good. Yeah, I didn't win diet bet this month. There's a whole host of reasons why I didn't win diet bet this month and cupcakes might be one of them, just one. So the next one is the overage for the groceries, the 6085, which I also talked about in the mid-month budget update. Do you wanna know if I, I succeeded or failed on, on my Amazon no spend? That'd be a big wah wah. I failed and I failed on one item and I will tell you why. So as you all know, Melina is a Girl Scout now and she started daisies this month and she loves them and she is having a blast with them. And we got her uniforms, which I had written a check for and those, you know, they came with badges and whatever. I don't sew. I know how to sew, but I don't sew. I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. So I, I was going to pay this guy to sew the Molina's badges on. And one of the moms says, oh, have you heard about badge magic? And I said, no, what's that? And she said, oh, it's awesome. It's like double-sided tape, kind of a glue dot sort of thing. And you just basically, you cut it out the exact size of the badge and then you stick it to the badge and stick it to the uniform and you can move it around a little bit until you press it firmly and then it sticks for forever. And I was like, all right, sign me up. And so I was like, where can I find this? And I looked around briefly. I could not find it anywhere. And so I said, huh, I wonder if Amazon has it. And they did and I was like, awesome. Put it in the list for next month of all the things that I am going to spend next month. And I put it in the on my wish list called items for next month's budget. And so that would give me enough time. Her Girl Scout meeting is in the middle of the month each month. And then I got an email that they were to wear their uniforms to the Girl Scout Halloween party. Yeah. I was not happy about that. So it was Wednesday, the party was on Saturday and I was like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. So yes, I failed, but I won in the convenience factor cause I am lazy. Let's be honest. I couldn't find it. I put a little effort to finding it locally, but not that much. 
So the next expense I have was $18.99 at CVS and legitimately Mauricio said, I need deodorant. I said, okay. And I told him to pick up a couple of other things and I cannot for the life of me tell you what those are. But we did take the cash and deposit it back in the bank for that. I took $20 and deposited it in the bank for that. So no big deal. Then we have a $38.74 charge for Chick-fil-A. And during the week that I was cleaning out the garage, I took a week off of work and was cleaning out the garage. As I mentioned before, I was not cooking dinner. My dad was helping me with the garage cleaning and he was not cooking dinner. And Mauricio had something to do late. And so we ended up getting Chick-fil-A that, that night. Reason number two, I did not win Diabed of like a thousand different reasons. So we had Chick-fil-A that night and that was fine. And Mauricio ordered it on the app on his phone and then my dad went and picked it up. And so because he ordered it on the app on his phone, we paid for it. No biggie. So those are our overages slash underages for this month. And I will tell you, if you look, my little um, screenshots of my every dollar account, um, I did enjoy the fact that you could see what I had budgeted and what was actually spent. But I will tell you, we did overdraft the checking account by $124 because I, during the week that I was cleaning out the garage, I was not on top of the bank account every second of every day. And I had the money in one account and it ended up being drafted out of another account. And it was a whole account debacle. And so that is one of the reasons we are closing that second account for one. And then if I feel like if I had been reconciling all along with every dollar and as things cleared, I moved money around like I always do, I would have had a better handle on where we were financially and would have realized like how close we were to overdrafting. And FYI, when I say overdrafting the account, it's not like I overdrew the account and I got, you know, a $35 processing charge. We have a overdraft um, protection program through our bank. And we have a huge amount of money that we can overdraft and we only pay interest. It's kind of like, I don't know, it could be, it's kind of like a, a mixture of a bank loan and a credit card. It's a bank loan, but you pay it like a credit card. So whatever you have in your overdraft, you pay interest on it. The one thing I do like about it is if you pay it off in full, before 14 days have passed, you pay no interest. So that's always a bonus. But we will be getting rid of that as soon as they're fully paid off. We will be paying Mauricio's off in November, and then we will be paying mine off in December. And then they will be gone because we do rely on them a lot for our finances. And we pretty much decided that we need to be so on top of our finances that we don't need it anymore. And for the most part, we are. Once we consolidate all our bank accounts, so we don't have a thousand different bank accounts, we'll be a lot better off. So let's go over the categories really quick. In utilities, our utilities category started out at 458 and finished up at 458. Yay, that was a win. In transportation, it started out at 100 and ended up at 143. Fail. Insurance and taxes started out at 463 and ended up at 467. Win, because if it's under $10 difference, I call it a wash. In the Molina category, it started out at $1,262 and ended up at $1,364. Fail. Wah, wah. Mauricio and Wendy personal category started out at zero and ended up at zero. Our cash envelopes started out at $690 and ended up at $690. Our reoccurring annual fees started out at $99 and ended up at $99. My YouTube expenses started out at $27.88 and finished up at $27.88. Our medical expenses started out at $290 and ended up at $168. And those don't get too excited because, like I said, the slight overage of, what, $150 
is just getting bumped to next month. So we're still gonna have to pay that. Work expenses started out at $22 and finished up at zero. Woo! Singing funds started out at $7.25 and finished up at $7.25. Score. And online shopping started out at zero and finished up at zero, which is not true. For whatever reason, when I balanced the um, the every dollar account, I ended up putting the Amazon spend in our cushion category. And I don't know why I did that, but that's what I did. So let's talk about that. In the cushion category, it started out at $100 and finished up at $279. I am seriously considering raising the cushion to $300 because it seems like almost every single month we are $300 over. And I wonder if we would go over more if I had more money in there or not. The one month I did raise it to $300, we were actually under. So, I mean, it's just so much comes up in our month that we don't budget for. And life happens and Maybe this is about being a little more flexible. I don't know. In debt, we planned on putting $5,050.34 to debt, and we ended up putting $5,126.63. And that is the difference was the diet bet win from the previous month. So, yay, extra money to debt this month. So, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I don't know why I said that. Because it rhymes, I guess. I don't know. I'm weird. That is all I have for you guys today. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one. And this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.